At college campuses across America, it's back to school. Each year, around 20 million U.S. students attend college. For some, it's the first time they're on their own, and safety may not be their first priority. Fortunately, crime on college campuses has been on a steady decline for years. According to the most recent numbers in 2020, there were a reported 28,000 crimes. That's a record low, due in part to remote learning during the pandemic. But as we return to in-person classes, we're here on the campus of Fairleigh Dickinson University in New Jersey for an important lesson on how to stay safe while in school. Joining me is Mike Sapraconi. He has 16 years of experience as an NYPD detective and is now the president of global security firm Squad Security. Mike, we talk about safety all the time. What do we need to know about staying safe when it comes to being on a college campus? Being alert, paying attention, always being vigilant to what's around you, making sure you know your friends, they know where you're going, they have your telephone number, you have theirs. Always to be in touch with somebody. And being prepared is so important. Always being prepared. Let me introduce you to Treasure Thomas. Hi, Treasure. Come on in. She's a junior here at Fairleigh, and she's going to take you through a day in the life of a student here on campus. Great. Uh, nice to meet you, Treasure. Nice Looking forward to it. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Her day starts when she drives to class. Great place to park. You want to park where there's a light. So at night, you, have, you know where your car is. You want to park otherwise places where there are other cars parked. And keep your key in your hand. Don't hit it 30 yards out because then someone's going to see that you're opening the doors. When you get close to your car, hit your fob, go in your door, and as soon as you get in the door, before you start your car, lock your door. Almost every school has campus-wide alerts, usually sent via text message. So what should I do if I get that alert? Well, if you're in a classroom, you should certainly be guided by your professor or your instructor. If not, you should definitely contact public safety or if you are your RA if you have some concerns, but you should have a point of contact that you should be able to go to. Another tip? Add the number for campus public safety in your phone. They can usually respond faster than 911. A big mistake students make at the library. You see you have your computer out, you probably have your phone out on the desk, and sometimes I'm sure you've gotten up to go do something you've left them there. Of course. Yeah, it's a bad idea. Theft is the number one crime on campuses, okay? It's a crime of opportunity. While walking around, Mike says to use the buddy system, and if no one is available, call campus public safety. They usually will provide an escort. What if someone's making me uncomfortable and I'm nervous and I'm all by myself? That's important. A lot of people are afraid to say anything, but you should maybe change direction. Walk to where you might see more people and, and never be afraid to scream. Screaming is good. Screaming scares people. It alerts people. Emergency phone, uh, blue light box. So important on campuses to know where they are and to know how to use them. While touring the dorm, Mike immediately notices some security concerns, like this propped door, which Treasure says students do all the time. Anybody comes in the storm, that stuff is theirs. I mean, it's just so easy to take. we got to make it a little harder on them. This is great to have the sunlight come in on a beautiful day. But this can't be left like this. You're on the first floor. Good job here by locking the window. But you don't want everybody to have that easy access to see what's going on or what's in your room. Here's another thing. You have this mirror covering the peephole. It defeats the purpose of you being able to look out. At night, always use the buddy rule. Never accept drinks from strangers and wait until the next day to post on social media so no one can track your whereabouts. We covered a lot of stuff today. Good luck in school in this next semester and spread the word to all your friends. Thank you. And Mike says the buddy system works best when you designate one person who will come looking for you if you don't come back to your dorm or you haven't checked in. So you really want to be specific with your buddy so they know where you are and also when to expect you back. Those are also details that are important, God forbid, if something happens, something goes Absolutely. wrong, they can share it with the police. What about devices or technology of any kind? To yes. So this is super important. This is like a little portable phone charger. Mm -hmm. They sell them everywhere. They're very cheap. But your phone is your best friend, right? Yeah. So you don't want to run out of juice. Right. So you want to make sure you have one of these fully charged with mm -hmm. you. That way you are just a phone call away right. from help. And then what about tracking devices, even for your belongings? Like yes. she had that laptop there in the library. That's right. Well, Al, you have a tile, I think. Yeah, I got, yeah? I've, I've tiled everything. Exactly, like your wallet, your laptop. Uh, Apple has those air tags. That's really, really great because if something gets stolen, you can geolocate Track it. the location. Yeah. The number one thing, though, is don't go after it yourself. No. Call the authorities. Have them try to recover the item for you. Is it That's accurate? Smart. I mean, would it tell you it's on a college campus or does it tell you where it is? How I mean, it, it can give those, they can really give you a, a pretty 
a precise Tight geographic location. location. Yes. Not always right in real time. Sometimes it takes a few minutes to update, but then you know where it is, and yeah. that's when you're just being police. aware of your surroundings. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Always. Just Don't be a victim. Head on a swivel. Good, Good advice. advice. Yeah. We, yeah. <laughs> uh, we got it. We, we're worrying about that in about two weeks. I know. Okay. Now. He's off to college soon. Crunch the last time. one. I know. Now we're just Crunch stuck time. with Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> the dog. That's right. The dog. <laughs> Perpetual three year old. Really fantastic. Uh, Vicky's got more great advice in her back to school safety special. Make sure you tune into our stream channel today all day this morning at 11 30 eastern again at 5 30 go to hit today.com slash all day or find it on Pico. hey thanks for watching our youtube channel find your favorite recipes celebrity interviews uplifting stories shop our favorite deals and so much more with the today app download it now